all right welcome back um i believe like a uh, few of them might have watched my previous video presentation on automation types like we discussed uh, the basic intermediate and advanced level to continue that so today we're going to talk how you use the shared object repositories and then the descriptive programming so what is the difference between them and what are the advantages and disadvantages with uh, these different levels of automation okay so anyway welcome back to history infosys and uh, yeah we are based in atlanta georgia and uh, these are the different training uh, programs and other services what we do trainings and uh, consultancy on development and software testing projects and also we provide job placements and tech support okay so these are the different other training programs what we offer like the testing um, unix automation testing etl sap mainframe and web services and also the java.net uh, project management and different other training programs so if you or any of your friends interested um, please visit our website that's where actually we posted the detailed syllabus what we cover under these training programs and also like what are the advantages you get once you enroll for these classes is um, there are multiple ways one way um, you will get a chance to practice on the tools using this cloud technology and also we assist to install the software on your systems we have a live support wherever um, um, H2K uh, people are going to help you to install the software on your systems and also the mock interviews uh, and all classes are live classes you are going to face the faculty in each and every class and at the end of the class you will get the recorded sessions that's where you can review the class and then if you have any questions you can come back in the, and ask in the following class and also you are going to work on different uh, domains uh, in banking, insurance, telecom and CRM so if you're interested to more about like what we're doing so uh, we request you to please visit our website just to infosys.com and um, see different things all right so in the last presentation um, we discussed about uh, the basic level the reusability concepts basically you're going to come up with more of the function libraries where you define the project constants the function subroutines so now let's talk about the next level the intermediate level like what this partial recording and scripting so here you are going to create the shared object repositories and the function libraries okay so let's um, let's move on and look at um, how you do that stuff right so for example this is the script like what we did in the last class right say so we define a constant and also we start using those constants that's the concept behind the reusability so now like uh, what are the how you are going to write more of these functions okay so let's talk about that one so anyway let me continue and um, um, create the script for this okay so now uh, let me create a new test okay so if basically like this is the application right so you want to develop a script so what's the first step you have to create a shared object repository that means you are going to share the objects across different scripts so what is this object repository basically it is a memory file that stores all objects from your application say so if you look at here this is the application right and these are the different objects like username text box password text box login button and so on how the QTP will understand okay where I have to input this username or where I have to put the password it is going to store all this object information in a memory file that is nothing but object repository file whenever you run the script it's going to retrieve that object information from the memory file and then identify the object in the application it's the same thing right say for example you are going to a shop and then your friend asks you to buy a laptop your friend said okay he or she need a laptop Dell company say 4 GB RAM 
and 300 GB hard disk DVD read write those are the specifications right so when your friend is explaining all these specifications then what you do you keep all those things you keep you all the specifications of the laptop in your memory then when you go to the shop because there are different vendors right Dell company Compaq or HP there are different vendors different laptops so you are going to you are going to retrieve that information from memory and then look at the laptop what your friend is asked for so exactly the same thing that QTP works the human behavior when you record the script it's going to store the object information in this memory file that is an object repository and when you play back it's going to retrieve that information from this repository file and try to identify that object in the application okay so object repository file is an important file in QTP environment so now let's talk about how you're going to create the shared object repositories okay the first step before you develop the scripts okay now we are looking at the intermediate level so you're going to create a shared object repository say resources and select object repository and then you're going to learn all the objects and then this is the object repository file you're going to create and store all object information into this file so select objects add objects to local and click anywhere on this page because I want to add all objects from this page click anywhere on this page and then it's going to okay so once you click say you you click on this page then it's going to display this window right say browser page this is the hierarchy so if you want to add objects then what you have to do you select the page object from this hierarchy and then click OK so that it gives the different options say so you want to add all default objects from this page click OK so that you see all objects gets added now how you're going to create a shared object repository because there are two different object repository types right local and shared object repository so how you create a shared object repository so select here file and export local objects basically you are creating a copy of it and then save it under a folder say C QTP demo and then name the file say login war and save it that's how actually you create an object repository file and create and save that as shared object repository file then what's the next step now you're going to do the scripting right based on this object repository file okay so the input the benefit with this uh, the latest versions of QTP is it's going to export there is a available keyword step and then it's going to show you what are all the different objects see now you can do the scripting right what is the first thing you want to do after you open application on this application I want to input the user username so how you develop that particular script so so here you see the all available keywords those are uh, the objects so the first thing you want to input an agent name just drag and drop you develop the script and then you know we are going to pass your data your the value like what's that username you want to set right say here you're going to put that is the agent name that is the username and then next once you put the username then what's the next step I want to put the password so this is a password object you just drag and drop see now it says it, it creates that script and now you're going to set the password say QA after that so you want to click on login button so this way you are going to uh, create the shared object repositories and then you can develop the scripts from the object repositories okay so this way uh, you are going to develop the scripts based on the intermediate level then what's the next level 
the descriptive programming, the advanced level, right? So that part we are going to discuss in my third presentation. So there we are going to talk like what are the disadvantages with this intermediate level and then how to overcome those problems in advanced level. Okay. So basically like what we covered in previous demo is basic level compared to the intermediate level. And uh, this one we developed some of the things in intermediate level. And in my next presentation we talk about what's the difference between intermediate level and advanced level. Alright, so these are the reviews. Like, if you want to go through, like Kaju.com, Google, and this is our website information. Alright, so this is our um, email and phone contacts. So, if you have um, any interest in any of our training programs, you can reach us either by phone or by email IDs. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching this video.